is it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech and today I have a 2022 updated video on how to passcode lock any app on the iPhone. So as you can see here, I have locked Instagram and as I tap on that, I'll see this screen and the only way to open the application is by typing a passcode. And this passcode is of course different from your lock screen passcode. So then you'll have a second layer of protection. This is so, so cool. So as you can see here, I just have two options. I can either tap on OK and it'll come back. Or if I tap on Instagram again and tap on Ask for more time, I'll be prompted to enter a screen time passcode, which is this second passcode, this second layer of protection, as I've mentioned. So as you can see here, it's a four digit code, which is different from your lock screen passcode. So only the person who has this second code will be able to use Instagram in this case, of course. So this is so, so cool. I love this process and I'm gonna show you right now, step-by-step, step, how you can set up on any application of your iPhone. Let's begin. All you have to do is tap on settings and then scroll down a little bit until you see screen time, tap on that. And if you don't use screen time, you're gonna turn it on. If you already use it, it's even easier. So turn on screen time. And then you'll see right here, screen time, you can continue. Uh, you're gonna be asked if this is your iPhone or your child's phone. And in this case, of course, this is our phone. So this is my phone. And then it'll load the screen time menu. And all you have to do is scroll down just a little bit and tap here on use screen time passcode. Of course, we'll need to set up a screen time passcode in order to take advantage of this feature in order to create this little trick. So let's tap here on use screen time passcode and then we're gonna create a screen time passcode. I'm gonna create this random one right here. So I'm gonna repeat it. And as you can see, you'll be asked if you want a screen time passcode recovery, if you want to turn it on. And I do recommend that it turn on this feature just because uh, it'll make your life much easier. If you forget your screen time passcode, you'll be able to recover it, to reset it via your Apple ID. But if you want to be extremely safe, because maybe you're doing this because you really don't want anyone having access to your applications, so you may want to skip this step because, of course, if you allow this, anybody with your iPhone can theoretically reset it and it's not really hard. So again, it's up to you. If you want to be super safe, you don't need to use uh, the Apple ID recovery tool, all right? If you don't wanna use it, all you have to do is tap on cancel. If you do wanna use it, you're gonna need to go ahead and type in your Apple ID and your password. I'm gonna make this video extremely super safe, so I'm gonna tap on cancel. I'm not gonna use the Apple ID recovery tool, all right? So I'm gonna tap on cancel and then skip. And as you can see, I have created the passcode, the screen time passcode, but I'm not using the Apple ID feature. Now, all you have to do is tap on app limits and here's where we're gonna create the second layer of protection. Here is where we're gonna lock the applications that we want. So all you have to do is tap on add limit and right here, we're gonna manually select the applications that we want to passcode lock. So uh, if you wanna make it easier, you can just pull down a little bit and you'll see a search bar. So I'm gonna tap here on search and I'm gonna go for Instagram once again. So Instagram and then add. And as you guys can see here, it's already added one app. So then next, of course, you can do this for multiple apps if you want to. And here is where the magic happens because we're gonna create a limit of one minute, just one minute. This is the app limit we're gonna create. Uh, so as you can see, one minute every day, that's perfect. Uh, and then here you see block at end of time. This is the most important tool. We want to have this on so that after one minute, the application will be blocked, it will be locked, it will be passcode locked. Of course, I'm going to explain you what this one minute is. It's super easy to understand. So all set, I can add and then I'm done. So as you can see here, Instagram is locked. So if we open it up, we won't be able to use it unless we type in the screen time passcode. And that's how this trick works. What we're doing here with the screen time feature is we're creating a limit of usage. So we're limiting one app, in this case, Instagram, but of course you can use for many different apps. So we're creating this limit of one minute. So then we'll only be able to use the application for one minute a day 
and then we'll need to type in the passcode. So uh, just that one, the first one minute is free, and then you're gonna type in the passcode in order to enable the usage of the application. Uh, let me show you how it really, really works because there's one exception and I wanna be extremely thorough in this video. So I'm gonna create a limit for Twitter as well, just to show you this. So as you can see here, Twitter, I've added for Twitter as well. And then as you guys can see, Twitter is also locked because I have used it for a minute. So then that's the screen you're gonna see after one minute. So time limit right there. And there's this little bypass. So if you tap here and ask for more time, you'll be able to use it for one more minute. So you may say, so how is this a thing? If you're able to use it for one more minute. And that's because that's the final minute. So then this is how it works. You're gonna use it for a minute, then it's gonna be blocked with that screen, and then you can ask for maximum another minute, so one more minute, and then you're done. After the second minute, you'll see this as you're seeing on Instagram. So if you ask for more time, there's no possibility to ask for another minute or anything. So the only way to use the app is by actually tapping here, entering the screen time passcode, typing the correct passcode, and then you can uh, approve for 50 minutes, an hour, or all day, if that's what you want. So as you can see, this is how it works. So what you wanna do for your locked apps is pretty much when you wake up, you use them normally, and then after a minute, it'll ask for the passcode, you enable for another minute, for example, and then that's it. You won't be able to use the app anymore unless you type in the passcode. So no one will be able to actually use bypass or anything like that. So one minute, then another minute, and then that's it. You're good for the end of the day. And then of course, this is a daily thing. So you need to do the, the, the exact same thing the next day. All right. So I know this is not a hundred percent solution, but uh, that's the best we can do. That's the best Apple allows us to do with the screen time passcode until they actually create a dedicated feature for locking individual apps, which they should have done like 10 years ago. But what can we do? So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye bye.